Trivia tonight brought to you by your Pennzoil 10-minute oil change center who holds the NHL playoff record for most game-winning goals in a series. Mike Bossy, the boss, with four against the Bruins in 83, the game winner in every contest. Michael, that's not bad. Yep. Okay, now it's a Friday night tradition around here. Mike takes us all out and buys us beer and pizza. We haven't told you about I that. I will buy you pizza, we'll but starting I will not partake in the devil's brew. <laughs> you don't know how true that is, folks. <laughs> you don't chew tobacco either, I'm do you? I'm giving the people at home my high and mighty look now. <laughs> well, I'll have a beer anyhow. Let's go, <laughs> let's go to the videotape, folks. Might have a couple. It's Friday. Now, this guy's got water on the brain. And if he's in a sauna, he'd go... Anyhow, Bubbleheads in Chicago. Anyhow, look what happens here. Time! Time! There's a bloody bubble in my stand. That's pretty pathetic. Bat Balloon, oh, one of the nicest yeah. goals in hockey. Joe Juno, or Jujono as we like to call him here in sports at 1130, has a chance to win it. Stop. Look at this one. Boing, boing, boing. Yeah, well, that's an out the hard way. Five, six, three. Is that how you call it? That's how you'd score it at home. Mr. Baseball. Kem Kemenetti, off the seat. Nails that one. That is a big time play. From there, we go to Rondell White. The do run, oh. run, the do. Pick your nose. What a, what a, what a, what a. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. I used to do it as a kid. Florida against Boston. This was the game winning goal. Charles Barkley oh. not happy about being eliminated. And, no, that's not Charles. That is, uh, <laughs> this is a, a, a peg. A that's hug. you on your Mexican vacation. I just got back from Mexico, yes. <laughs> hey, senor, want to buy a dog? <laughs> <laughs> oh, how young's the dog? Yeah, no. <laughs> okay, there's a private joke in there that we cannot okay. discuss on public television. All right, we're <laughs> getting this dog to beg for us. Yeah, wow, that's a pretty trained dog. He's from Mexico as well. Hey, oh, Bobby, Lord. follow me, and whoa, where in the heck are you going? And, uh, hey, Dad, what does this button do? Well, I don't... Oh, whoa. Boing. Yeah, just let her go. From there, we go to the newest thing in cars. It is the bowling ball car. You start her up. Can you imagine the salesman? Look at the salesman here taking the guy. It handles like a dream, kid. You're gonna love it. You're gonna love this car. Chicks dig it. All right. Here's Bam Bam, all grown up from the Flintstones. And uh, he's taking Barney's car out for a run. Uh, sure. It, yeah. He would test clean, wouldn't he? <laughs> no doubt about that. Yes. Yeah. I like the Bam Bam analogy. He looks like Bam Bam. Oh, he does. He's got that hair, dude. I go, Bam Bam. Okay, from there we go to the Philly Fanatic, uh, eating a little popcorn and uh, and sharing. Well, that's a pretty messy thing, but uh, obviously that wasn't that strong. Anyhow, this is the Kansas City Royal mascot, now singing with the Four Seasons. Let's hold on what we got. We got much, it hurts a lot. Anyhow, uh, <laughs> I gotta be tough to be a mascot. Oh, you do, you know, and it, it's... It's a job without enough thanks or enough money. This is the stratosphere in Las Vegas. I'm going there in a month, Mike. I'm going there in two weeks. Are you? I'll okay. be on 960 CFAC radio calling the Cannons game from okay. Las Vegas. 135 stories high. They have, <laughs> thanks for that plug. They have this ride a shameless here. plug. Yes. You go zip right up there and then 909 feet off of the ground. No Whoa. rails. You have this roller coaster. Now, this is what they ought to put guys like Clifford Olsen in without a, just to experiment to see if it holds <laughs> up, okay? And uh, if it doesn't, well, no big loss other than the cars. And that's the newest rage in Las Vegas. I'm scared to death of those kind of things. Never could understand that parachuting or bungee jumping. I just like to be right on the ground. I never thought I'd see the day when sports shorts became political. You made a political <laughs> statement tonight. On Clifford Olsen. We made some statements this week. We had some fun. So long. We'll see you next week. Good night, folks. Have a good weekend.